Hello everyone and welcome to this week's science lesson. This is our second lesson in our topics about animals including humans. Our question that we're going to be looking at today is what is a balanced diet? And we've got a few different learning objectives that we're all going to be looking at. Our first one is to be able to name the different types of food. We're also going to be looking at explaining what human needs for a balanced diet. And then we're also going to be thinking about outlining the importance of different nutrients. So I want us to think back to the work that we did last week. Think about the different food that we eat and different animals eat and how that gives us energy, why we need to eat. Now we're going to look specifically at human diets and consider the types of food that we eat in a little bit more detail. So here you can see a picture of a plate of food. What I want you to do with this picture is I want you to see if you can identify the different types of food that you can see. Now you might start off by naming the food that you can see, but I then want you to see if you can identify the types of food. Remember our eat well plate that we looked at very briefly last week. We are going to look at that in a little bit more detail in this lesson, but I want you to see if you can identify any different types of food on this plate. So I wonder if you came up with any different types of food. Um, ones that I can see, we've got some vegetables in the form of potatoes and so some cauliflower there by the looks of it, possibly some green beans or similar. Um, there's an onion there. We've got some mashed potato as well. And it also looks like we've got some meat. So that's going to contain some proteins. We've also got possibly some carbohydrates in our potato as well. So there's a fair bit on this plate, the different types of food categories that we've got. And we're going to have a look at a different plate now and see if we can come up with a list for that one as well. So again, I want you to complete the same task with this food. I want you to see if you can identify the different types of food in it. Again, you might want to start off by naming the food that you can see then thinking about which category that would fall into on our eat well plate. And again, we'll have a quick look at it together afterwards. So hopefully you've come up with another list for this one. So this one is a little bit different in terms of the food that's on there. We've got a lot more in fruit and vegetables. We've got a smaller portion, a smaller amount of what appears to be some kind of chicken or something of that sort. And that's going to contain quite a lot of protein as well. And it looks like that's not going to be anything else too much in there. We've got lots of, of different vegetables in here and fruits. We've got some tomatoes, which are fruits. It looks like we've got a radish here and possibly some um, herbs and things as well. So lots of different types of food that we've seen over those two pictures. So the question is, for those two plates of food, which one is the healthiest, would you say? And I want you to think about looking at this guide when we're considering that question. Now, there is a link at the top of this which will take you to an interactive version of the Eat Well guide. We are going to have a very quick look at that in a moment together. But if you want to have a quick look at it on your own, then you can go to that website and it will allow you to click on the different uh, aspects of the Eat Well guide and find out a little bit more information about all of them. And you may find that that helps you with your tasks that you're going to do afterwards. So here we can see that our Eat Well guide, like we spoke about last week, it's split into those different sections. And what we're going to do now is we're going to have a little bit of a look at those different sections so that we can decide which one of those plates that we've just looked at is healthiest and why. 
So as you can see here, we've got our interactive Eat World Guide, which is available on the website that I showed you a moment ago. And this is quite good because what you can do is you can click on the different sections and find out a little bit more information. Well, on the bottom here, you've got your different uh, types of food and it then identifies them on the Eat World plate. If you, if you click, click on, them, on them, you can, you can find, find out a little, out a little bit, bit more information. information. So we'll start, we'll start here, here with our fruit, fruit and vegetables. And this, and this tells, tells us that we need to eat, eat at least five, five portions of a variety of, variety of, fruit, of fruit and vegetables, and vegetables every day. day. And we've got, we've got some, some suggestions, suggestions and some different, different ideas of what those fruit and, fruit and vegetables might include. include. We come out of here and then click on our next one, which is our carbohydrates. Again, Again, that's, that's another, another big, big part, part of our e well plate that you can, you can see. see. And, and here it's, it's our skin, skin or telling us rather, rather that we can that choose whole grain or higher fiber versions with less added fat, fat salt, and sugar. And, sugar. and it and gives it us, us, again, some suggestions, some suggestions that you can, you can see, see here, like, like pasta, pasta wheat bits, bits, porridge, porridge oats, oats, and things that are going to fall into that category of carbohydrates. We have a look at our next one. one. This, is this is the small, small one here that you can see just, just in this section here. here. And this and is going to be our oils and spreads. spreads. Now, it's now it's saying to choose unsaturated oils and use in small, small amounts. amounts. And, and the reason, the reason for, for that is because it is high in fat, fat and calories. calories. If we have a look at this next one, this is going to be dairy and alternatives. So, so again, again it's saying that we have got options to choose lower fat and lower sugar, sugar options, options, but it's but things, things like cheese, maybe, maybe alternatives, alternatives around, around soya or oat, oat milk, milk that can be used as a replacement, as a replacement if you've got allergies, allergies or, just or just prefer, prefer the, the taste, taste of, of uh, that kind, kind of milk, milk instead. instead. And then, and then the, the last, last one, one that we've got, got here, here is going, is going to, be to be our proteins. proteins. And here this is suggesting that we should eat more beans and pulses two portions of sustainably sourced fish per week, one of which is oily, and suggesting that we eat less red and processed meat. So again, there's some different suggestions here of what's going to contain protein, so things like lentils, eggs, fish, and then you've got your oily fish like tuna or mackerel, for example. Around the Around edge, the you've edge, got some got different some boxes, boxes that you can click on as, as well. So, so up here, here you've, got you've got something which you might, which have, might have seen before. before. And these, and these are, are often, often on food, food packaging, packaging. And they and give they us give a suggestion of what is contained either, either within, within the whole, whole packet, packet of food or within, or within a, a serving. serving. And that's an that's important, important part to consider about, about what, what is a is serving and how much of that, that is going to be something, something that you would eat or how much of that serving you would have. And this tells us using mostly a color-coded traffic light system where green represents something that is Lower, lower than, than or within, within the range, the range of, of uh, your, uh, your daily So as you can see here, we've got our interactive got orange, world guide, red, which is so available on the can website that I showed you a moment ago. And, and this is quite good because what you can do is you can click on the different sections that you can and find out a little bit more day. information. So this is quite useful. Along the bottom here, you've got your different types of food and it then identifies them on the Eat Well plate. If you click on them, you can find out We've also got in this top right hand corner. So we'll start uh, here with our water. fruit and vegetables. And it's saying about and this tells us that we need to eat at least five day. portions of a variety week, of fruit and vegetables every day. And the suggestion and we've got some is suggestions water, and some different ideas milk, of what those drinks, fruit and vegetables and might include. So we come out of here and then click on our next one, which is our carbohydrates. Again, that's another big part of our Eat Well plate that you can see. And, in and this here part it's here, asking, or telling us rather, that we can choose whole grain or higher fiber versions with less it added is fat, salt, salt and sugar. And it gives us, again, some suggestions that you can see here, like pasta, so if you fish, scroll porridge, down the page oats when you find things this on that the are website, there are lots of other information available to you as well. And we have a look at our next uh, one. This is the small one here that you can see just in this section here. So and this is going to be our oils and spreads. Now it's saying to choose unsaturated oils and use in small amounts. And the reason so the for that is because it is high in fat and calories. 
to see on here. If we have a look at this Where next one, this is going to be dairy and alternatives. So again, it's saying that, that we have got options to choose lower fat and lower sugar options, one of them but it's things like cheese, maybe alternatives around soya or oat the milk size that can be used of the plates, as a replacement of the portion as well. allergies, or just prefer the taste the of uh, that kind of milk instead. That and then the last one that we've got here is going to be our proteins. Or chicken and here or this is uh, suggesting that we should eat more beans and pulses two portions of sustainably well. sourced fish so per week about one of which is oily and suggesting that, that we eat less red and of a processed of them, meat so again there's some different suggestions here of what's going to contain the thing that we didn't proteins really look at, so things like lentils, eggs, was fish the fats and, and then you've got your you oily fish like tuna or cooked. mackerel for example and there was a lot of gravy that was on around the edge well. you've got so some different boxes that, that you can click on as well so up here you've got something which you might have seen before and these are often on food packaging and they give us a suggestion of what is contained either uh, within the whole packet of food there, or within a I would say serving that that was and that's an important part to consider about here. what is a serving and uh, how so much of that of the, is going to be something that you would eat or how much of that serving was you would have and this tells us using mostly a color-coded traffic light system where green represents something that is lower than or So now that we've had a look at the comparison between those two plates, we've got this question here. What do humans need for a balanced diet? So we've had a look at the different types of food, but what do humans need for a balanced diet? What do you think we might need in order to be able to have a balanced diet? I want you to pause the video here and I want you to write down your ideas. Hopefully you've come up with some suggestions and some of these we have already covered in our Eat Well guide. But I've got a few others that I want to have a quick look at as well. So we've got things like fruit and vegetables. We've got proteins and we've also got minerals as well. Lots of the proteins and things like fish and chicken have got those minerals in. But I wanted to uh, just list it as a separate point as well. On the right hand side, you can see that we've got a few different things that we're going to talk about very quickly. We've got iron. Iron you need in your blood in order to make sure that you're able to get the oxygen around your body efficiently and it also gives you energy. If you have got less iron in your body than you should have, then it can make you feel very tired and not have enough energy to do things. Fiber is really important for our digestive system making sure that our body's able to break down lots of different types of food so that's really important to help that fats salt and sugars now these are all things that we shouldn't eat in large amounts but they are important in our body and our body does need them if we don't have the right sugar levels for example then you can have problems with again not having any energy and that can be a problem with other illnesses as well which we're going to have a look at in a moment very briefly so those things are really really important um, but it's about making sure that you've got that balanced diet it's about having the right amount of the right types of food and that's what that eat well plate is looking at it's giving you an idea as to the types of food that you should be eating and how much of each of those types of food you should have what i would like you to do now just very quickly on a scrap piece of paper is to complete this food pyramid so at the very bottom you've got the biggest part of the pyramid and you need to fit the type of food in that we need most of in our diet along the bottom and then as you move up the pyramid all the way to the top the part at the very top of the pyramid is going to be the type of food that we want to eat the least of like i said a moment ago our body still needs it but we need less of it so i want you to pause the video and I want you to see if you can complete this food pyramid for me. Good luck. 
I wonder what answers you came up with and whether they match the one that you can see on the screen now. So at the very bottom, surprisingly, perhaps, is grains. We, our body needs a lot of these carbohydrates because that is the food where we get our energy from. Moving up, we've got vegetables and fruits, and you'll notice that there is slightly more vegetables than fruits. But as long as you have the recommended five portions of fruit and vegetables, that should be fine. And then as you move up, you can see that we've got milk and alternatives and then meat, fish, egg and other alternatives that contain our protein. And then at the very top, we've got that small amount of fats and oils, salts and sugars that we need. So hopefully you came up with something similar and we're going to have a look at how we can use this information to help us answer some questions. So looking at our last part of our learning objectives for today, thinking about why does a diet need to be balanced? If it's important that we eat a balanced diet, why? Why is it important that we eat a certain amount of fruit and vegetables and don't eat too much sugar and chocolate, which tastes really lovely? Why is it that something is made to taste nice if we're not allowed to eat that much of it? So what I want you to do now is to answer this question, pause the video and think about the importance of why it needs to be a balanced diet. So here are some suggestions as to why a diet needs to be balanced. And before we look at these specific parts, the important reason as to why we need to make sure that our diet is balanced is to keep a healthy lifestyle. So in order to stay healthy, our bodies need certain foods to be able to do certain jobs in our body. But we also need to make sure that we're being active and making sure that we are doing exercise regularly. Obviously, I know that's a little bit more difficult at the moment, but do the PE tasks that we've been setting you as well. Keep practicing those PE tasks. It doesn't just have to be one thing that you do at the start or at the end of the week. You can keep trying to beat your personal best and try and improve your score as the week goes on. Um, and that's really, really important. So keep going with that as well. So what we're looking at here is weight and making sure that you're not eating more than the energy that you're doing by doing exercise or walking or running and things like that. And making sure that your heart is kept nice and healthy. Your heart's a really, really important muscle in your body that pumps all of the oxygen around your body. And we need that to make sure that we are able to look after our bodies really well. Now, I mentioned earlier about sugar being really important, and there is a medical condition called diabetes, where if we don't have the right types of sugar in our body or the right amounts, then that can cause problems. So that's really, really important to make sure that we're not eating uh, too much of that. Energy, as I said earlier, around iron and eating the right types of food that's going to give us energy. That's, again, really, really important because if we start feeling very tired or if we start feeling very poorly, then we need energy to make sure that we're uh, able to recover. Sleep is a really, really important part of our lifestyle, although it's not necessarily uh, a part of what we eat. Um, there could be an aspect of what we eat affecting how we sleep if we're eating too much. Um, we might feel very tired all the time and not feel very have very much energy if we're not eating the right types of food. So eating lots of carbohydrates is going to give us that energy as well. Um, I've already mentioned about movement and exercise and also eating lots of different foods and different types of food. It's interesting. It gives us our taste buds have different uh, flavors to them. We can taste different flavors through our taste buds. So it makes life a little bit more interesting if we start eating lots of different types of food as well. So I hope that you found this lesson useful and I hope that it's going to help you to be able to complete your tasks for today. 
you have got three separate tasks that you're going to complete and they all link to the learning objectives that we covered at the first. So they've been uploaded as an assignment on Teams, although you should be able to access them on the school website as well if you have any problems with that. And what you need to do is once you've finished, I want you to consider whether you want to write a food diary for a week. I want you to think about whether you are meeting all of those recommendations of the Eat Well Guide. Are you eating the right types of food? Are you eating the right amounts of those types of food? So you don't have to share that with anyone. It's just something for you to think about. Maybe you could do it with your parents as well or your carers so that they can take part in that as well and keep a diary as a family so that you can think about those types of food that you're having and if there's any improvements that you might be able to make. Well done for all of your efforts again. I know I keep saying it, but I really do mean it. Thank you very, very much. And I look forward to seeing all of your hard work that you've done for this lesson as well.